Hi everyone, I just wanted to walk you guys through some of the new uh, weekly learning modules that I'm uh, putting on Canvas so you, that you understand the organization and what you need to do to really succeed and learn since it obviously has changed as we've moved um, online. And so I've tried to make this as simple as possible and put everything in order, but I, again, I just want to walk you through it. So here I am in student view, and this is the one that we already did, so hopefully you were able to see that. But again, you can see that there are weekly modules, so I've put all the things that we need to do and in order for that particular week. So as we scroll down, we can see that uh, this coming week, um, March 30th through April 3rd, we're going to be working on testing for parametric statistics. Um, and then uh, the next week, uh, peer review of proposals and so forth. So you can see what we're doing each week and you can see the dates that those weeks involve. Um, these I haven't gotten up yet, but you can also see that there is a set of things that you have to do. Um, and these are placed in order of the way you need to do them. So in other words, you need to go from this one to that one and so forth. And you can't just jump around. Um, if you jump around, they won't make nearly as much sense. And so within these, uh, the first one is just some instructions. You can click on that and see those instructions. Um, but then that starts basically the learning module. So there is um, some slides that you can work with along the way. And here's a video that uh, starts you with why um, it's important to understand what parametric stats are and, and how to um, see if your data is parametric or not. Um, then I show you how to test for skewness. All right, and so a lot of these videos, when you click on them, basically you can see here, I know it's tiny, but you can see here there's a, a, a slide. So I have some slides next to an Excel file that I'm going to walk you through how to do these things. So kind of walk, going through that um, is important, but here is some data. So this is the data you can use to work on it at the same time. So while I'm doing this, um, guiding you through it on the video, you can be working on it and practicing it along the way. And sometimes you will need to turn in those practice ones for kind of the participation class uh, participation, if you will. And then jumping on to testing for parametric data together, same idea. I've given you um, some uh, cliff notes, so some slides that really show you how to do this um, in a short kind of review manner. This is you're not going to be enough to let you know how to do it on its own. But once you've learned it and you need a reminder, this can help you a lot. Here's the data that you will work on together, and then here's how to do it. So again, you want to see if um, uh, you want to be working on the data alongside with this, and this is practicing. And so once you've completed it, you're going to submit that completed working together file here for um, some feedback in case you missed anything, as well as participation points. And then usually at the end of all of this is a homework assignment all right, so that basically walks you with a different set of data, but allows you to practice this again. Um, if all you do is see the due date and jump right to here, you're going to have no clue how to do it. So you really need to go through these things in order as we go through it. Um, and then I think you also know how to get your um, uh, feedback, but getting your feedback is extremely important here because um, Caleb and I are going to work hard to give you feedback where you're messing something up or where you might be making a little mistake so that you don't make that mistake again later on. And so most of you know how to do this, I think, but if you go to grades, um, this is a student view, so I don't really have anything that this test fake student has uh, turned in, but let's say you had your um, practice testing for parametric data homework. All right, so the homework here. And let's say um, you, if you have a score here, it's because you turned it in. Your comments will be over here. Make sure to take a look at those comments and then make sure to click on that. And um, since there's no submission, you won't see anything here, but you'll see an option for view feedback over here in the right-hand corner once you've clicked on your submitted assignment. You'll see your comments here again. And if you click on that view feedback, it'll actually take you to your submitted file and you'll see comments directly to the spots where you have maybe made a mistake or need to consider something. So if you're not taking advantage of that, please do, because this is a great way to learn as well from some mistakes and again, not to make those again. So hopefully this is helpful. Again, make sure you go through all of these things in order. As always, ask me if you have any questions and together we can do this. I'm hoping that uh, you'll be able to learn just fine. All right, thank you.